Hi, this is Ashutosh. I'm going to review the steps on how to set up single sign-on authentication for connecting to ALM. So once you authenticate, in step one, you configure ALM as service provider in the SSO configuration tool. It involves the following task. In the properties tab, you provide ALM server general information, like do you want to enable local authentication, followed by the communication details uh, for the ALM server. Once you have filled in this information, you go ahead and save it. Next is the SSO certificate. Here, you're going to upload the SSO certificate, which is used to encrypt and decrypt SAML requests and response between the ALM and the identity provider. So once you have filled in all this information, you go ahead and submit uh, this certificate, which gets uploaded to the ALM server. And finally, in the My Profile tab, you are specifying your IDP name and identity key, which is used to map to an IDP user. So once you save, these site level settings are saved to ALM repository. Step two, you configure the default IDP ALM in SSO configuration tool. You fill in all the information as required. And for SAML2 Federation protocol, you also provide the IDP metadata with a URL or XML text. So once you hit the save button, this is saved to the ALM repository. Step three, this step is to deploy the SSO components in the ALM server. As an administrator, you execute run OSP deploy script. You'll be asked to restart ALM service during the deployment. You stop the ALM service to continue the deployment process and then restart it after successful deployment. If you make any changes to SSO component, you should redeploy the SSO components again. Step four, you register ALM as service provider in IDP by sharing the ALM service provider metadata with IDP. Step five is to validate the IDP. In this step, you are verifying the IDP configuration is correct and the communication between ALM as service provider and the IDP can succeed. The first IDP to validate before you enable SSO should be ALM. Step six is to enable single sign-on. This should be done only after the IDP ALM is validated successfully. After you enable SSO, the ALM SSO authentication is completed. Finally, now that SSO is enabled, when the admin user logs in, the ALM service provider redirects it to a single sign-on service for authentication. Once the user successfully authenticates through the IDP, it's granted access to the ALM, providing a true single sign-on experience. Thank you.